My sunrise report was really long, so I'm going to just give you a quick point here, courtesy of Kennedy McGovern. I've been neglecting him and Giovanni Bercelli lately. They've written some good stuff. I just haven't gotten to it. Um, this is regarding health care and the difference between commodities and rights, and I think he expressed it pretty well. He writes, commodities. You cannot have a right that is also a commodity. Commodity are things that are exchanged. This means that in order to get them, you have to take them from someone else. This means you have to give something in return, and therefore it is not a right. Uh, once we decide that commodities can be rights, rights in quotation marks there, we take away anyone's ability to refuse them to you. And that means that you no longer have to give anything in exchange. If cell phones become a right, then no one can charge you for a cell phone. Apple and Samsung won't keep making them for long under this circumstance, I assure you. Hussein Obama famously stated that the Constitution is a, quote, charter of negative liberties, end quote. He got that one right, but where his intellect falls short is in his failure to understand why this is so. Oh, maybe, though, he does understand it perfectly fine and just uh, has a different agenda. Wait, I'm trying to look at the right place. Uh, <laughs> I forget where to look on the screen sometimes. Uh, sometimes I hold the, when I do it horizontally, sometimes I hold the phone one way and sometimes the other way, and it affects where the, uh, where I'm supposed to look into. Whatever. I'm such an amateur sometimes. He got that one right, but where his intellect falls short is in his failure to understand why this is so. A right is something that you already have, and that no one can take away from you. Your fellow citizens do not have to give you a mouth and a brain in order for you to speak. They do not have to build you a church in order for you to freely worship. You have the right to bear arms and not the right to arms because the Founding Fathers never intended for you to believe that someone has to buy your guns for you. Rights cannot be commodities, ever. I don't care what your sob story is. I don't care how unfair the world has been to you. Our society cannot work if my labor becomes your right. And then the following point is particularly... I'm trying to figure out where to look. There it is. I think I need to look down there. No, whatever. Uh, this is a point that is very re relevant to me because my doctor and brother-in-law are doctors. Uh, and I've seen how hard they work and how hard they work. Well, I didn't see how hard my father worked in school. I didn't know him when he was still in school. wasn't born yet. But uh, this is just an important point. Uh, wait, where's the part about health care? Okay. A far smarter man than Hossein Obama, my high school civics teacher, Mr. Don Kearns, stated that my rights end where your rights begin. You cannot have a right to health care because a doctor has to give you health care. Amen. And the doctor has rights too, though that contradicts to some extent what I talked about uh, yesterday from Carl Denninger at MarketTicker.org that a lot of these things could be done by RNs or nurse practitioners or a lot of them could be done just by almost machines. So. Just the point that uh, is there. There's a lot of inefficiency there to drive up costs. But going on with his point, which was not that, uh, you cannot have a right to health care because a doctor has to give you health care, and the doctor has rights too. If his labor is your right, then you have turned the doctor into your slave. I agree with that. Great point. Rights cannot be commodities, ever. I don't care what your sob story is. I don't care how unfair the world has been to you. Oh, I'm just repeating this whole thing, but that's okay. It's for emphasis. Our society cannot work if my labor becomes your right. Well, that was unintentional by me, but Freudian slip, because that is a very important point. This is so simple that a 14-year-old kid taking high school civics in 1984 could understand it perfectly. Yet, grown and elected Democrats fail to grasp the concept. Then again, turning someone else's labor into their rights ain't exactly new to Democrats now, is it? And that is a reminder of which party historically supported slavery. Hint, not the party of Abraham Lincoln. Thank you for watching.